Hi, I'm Peter from Hope Publishing. Uh, I'm over here at PAX from New Zealand, and uh, I'm going to show you Let Sleeping Dawn's Life and how it works. So, Let Sleeping Dawn's Life is a heist game for two to eight players uh, where you are uh, part of the Dawn's crime family, one of the sort of crazy characters that uh, are out there, the mistress, the useless brother, uh, Taylor, any one of the Don's crime family. You're kind of sick of what the Don's been up to and while the Don is having a snooze on the couch, um, you are going around and trying to steal what you can from the Don's place, including diamonds, exotic animals, rings, cash, cash, uh, and, uh, and all of that um, and more. As you go through uh, the game, um, there, um, you're trying to collect a set of uh, seven, uh, seven items of loot, uh, and seven items of plunder from out of there. Um, so either seven diamonds, seven anything that is in the game. And uh, when the first person in the round to get to that seven uh, gets there, he, he will get an extra, he will get two loot bags. The next runner-up who has uh, the next most loot bags will get one and the play will continue until either somebody gets seven loot bags or the Don wakes up. The Don will wake up through a variety of cards or abilities, as in the comp card. As you go through the game, he will wake up and if the Don wakes up, then the game is over and the person with the most loot bags at that time will win the game. So you have to try, try and judge, are you going to go for the game by waking the dawn up and getting out of there or by going for the full seven. Um, there are a variety of different powers. That is Let Sleeping Dawn's Life. This game is available if you're at PAX, uh, available at Tabletop Games for a discounted price or uh, direct from holtpublishing.co.nz.